I'm Yvonne Bamberg from the Toronto Cyclist Union. We just did a ribbon cutting ceremony for the Jarvis Street bike lanes. It was a great turnout. Lots of people are really excited about the changes on Jarvis Street. It makes this road accessible to people on bikes and uh, expansion of the, uh, the bikeway network and really, uh, you know, getting us one step closer to incorporating bicycles into the transportation system. Hey there, Chris Bichard here with the Transportation Services working on bike stuff for the City of Toronto. We're out here at Wellesley and Jarvis today because we did a ribbon cutting to officially open the Jarvis bike lane, which uh, we just finished installation on. And uh, I wanted to invite people to feel free to call up 311 and ask them for this book in here. It's called Changing Gears. It has all kinds of really interesting info about some of the bike programming coming up over the next couple of years. So if you're a cyclist and you're into riding in the city of Toronto, there's some fun info here. You might want to check it out. Once again, that's 311 Toronto, or you can go online, www.toronto.ca slash cycling. I'm Rob Mackay with the Toronto Police Service Parking Enforcement Unit. I'm here at Jarvis and Wellesley for the official opening of our Jarvis bike lane. One of our functions in parking enforcement is to keep these bike lanes clear and safe for the cyclists. Another thing with Toronto Police we'd like to remind you is to register your bike against theft. You can go online, torontopolice.on.ca. Follow the link, click on the picture of the bicycle, and there's a registration system there. And this will help to prevent the theft of your bike, and will also help us to get the bike back to you should it be stolen. So register your bike, prevent theft, and help the Toronto Police. Thank you. Do you have plans to like, have a way for people to send a text message, you know, 376 Jarvis, you know, or something, like different ways that we could access you? I don't know if there's plenty of okay. I've got a Twitter, a Twitter <laughs> That's account. That's idea. Toronto <laughs> Police. I run the Twitter account. If you've got information, I can pass it on to uh, Supervisor McKay. And that's fairly new since April. Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, Toronto Police. If your bike bicycle is stolen, you need to report it to the Toronto Police. There's just a couple ways you can do that. You can phone our main dispatch line at 808-2222, area code 416, or attend your local police division in person and report it to a police officer. My name's Dave, and I'm here in the official opening of the Jarvis Street Bike Lane. It's a great um, initiative the city's done because it shows that everyone can share the road. It's not about cars versus bikes or pedestrians versus cyclists. There's enough room on most arterials to create safe space for everyone to use, for everyone to share. It's not anti-car, it's just pro-safety. And it's great to see so many people out here today um, celebrating. There's a lot of stereotypes about cyclists that we're a rowdy bunch, we want to break all the rules, break the laws, we're, we hate cars. Really, we're just people trying to get from point A to point B. I've got a safe bike. I've got lights on, I've got reflectors, I have a bell, I'm wearing a helmet, I don't hate cars, I drive cars. Car drivers are actually more likely to own bikes than non-car drivers. It's a total myth that there's any conflict between, you know, the nice, safe drivers and the crazy, mean, aggressive cyclists. We're all just people who live in Toronto trying to get around in a safe, clean, affordable way.